The second week of May is designated as National Stuttering Awareness Week, and one in five children stutter during development, and actually 70 million people around the world. So we are being joined by an expert who's going to discuss the causes and treatments of stuttering. Absolutely. That's Jane Frazier. She's here from the Stuttering Foundation. Turns out she's a president. How are you? I'm just fine, and thank you so much for focusing on stuttering today. It's been a big week for us. Well, it's a, it is a yeah. great to have you. I know that I occasionally, depending on the day, I do it a little bit more than others. But for some people, this is a uh, this is a thing that they live with uh, on a day in and day out basis. What causes stuttering? What what, what what's the uh, what's the cause behind this? Well, we know that there is a, a very uh, interesting and uh, significant amount of number of people who stutter who have a genetic cause. Mm -hmm. So from 60 to 80 percent uh, runs in their family. Mm -hmm. My father stuttered. My uncle stuttered. So that's one of the causes. The other is it's a neurophysiological problem. So it's not that people who stutter cannot speak well, cannot communicate. We know they can because look at James Earl Jones, look at Emily Blunt, but they may have to put a little bit more effort. There's a slight slight difference in the way they process speech yeah. than you or me, perhaps. And then also child development. So you may have a child who's two, year, two years old with a six-year-old vocabulary. That child is trying to say big words, doesn't have the mechanism yet to do it. So you have sort of a mismatch. So those are some of the causes. We do know that 70 million people, as you said, stutter worldwide, so it's not an insignificant problem. We know a lot more about it. I think the public in general, since the King speech, thanks to Colin Firth, uh, uh, thanks to the fact that that movie won Oscars, but also there is a lot of news out there about Emily Blunt, who also stutters, who's also bringing mm -hmm. out new movies. And... Uh, uh, lots of sports figures so you've got a lot of sports or at least used to before the the, the shutdown yeah, out exactly. in las vegas yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> everything sort of changed but um so across the board sports people singers like mel tillis um uh, ed sheeran certainly wow, you know, know that. Really? yeah 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 I, I singing think, of course is a little different from speaking of mm -hmm. course and i think some people and when they get into the uh, the arts like an ed sheeran they don't stutter when they're on the stage but then maybe when they're on an in an interview just normally that's where it, it, it might it might come out it, it's worth noting though that uh, these are people that are able to see their way through it they're able to see that through it, but when you think about it, if they're on stage, they've memorized the words, so you don't have the word retrieval problem for them. Yeah. Um, when they're singing, they know the words of the song, and also when you're singing, you're pretty happy. You also have airflow. Think about as you sing a song, you can feel that air coming through your throat. Yeah. So totally mm -hmm. different, physically a totally different uh different things going on and it could also be that that singing uh is originates in a slightly different part of the brain yeah wow it's really interesting to think about how it affects people differently you know the root causes are different for everybody so not everyone who stutters is dealing with potentially the same issue how can people find help and i'm curious we talked about king george queen elizabeth's father of course is it is it ever too late to get help if you stutter we think it's never too late. And of course, there's tons of help on our website, www.stutteringhelp.org. -E Free books, videos. One of the videos that's the most watched is Seven Tips for Speaking with the Child Who Stutters. So if you have listeners uh, and viewers who are looking in now, uh, they should go to stutteringhelp.org, click on seven tips for talking with the child who stutters. It's free. Mm -hmm. All the videos there are free, free eBooks, and it gives them tips of things they can be doing today. So rather than sitting at home and worrying, is it my fault? By the way, parents do not cause stuttering. It's a really important point. But um, something, the sooner you're working on a problem, the less it worries you. And when you're not worried, believe it or not, your children can feel that. They sense whether you're worried. And I know you know that if you have kids. They know the minute you get up in the morning, you've got a, a difficult interview or something, and they yeah. think, 
mom or dad isn't the same today. There's something different. So the more relaxed you are, the better it is for your child and uh, the better it is for your speech. Well, hmm. it, is, uh, it is is great getting a chance to talk to you and it's worth noting, you know, if a parent finds uh, that their child uh, is, is having these issues or frankly th that they've had these issues and it's gone kind of unaddressed, there's ways to get treatment and to get uh, help to kind of get you on the path to, to recovery. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for having us and for focusing on stuttering. Of course. Absolutely. Absolutely, Jane. Have. Very interesting. Thanks so much. All right. Thank you. Stutteringhelp.org. If you want to learn more, you could call their number 1-800-992-9392.